Halo 3 is a 2007 first-person shooter video game developed by Bungie for the Xbox 360 console. The third installment in the Halo franchise, the game concludes the story arc begun in 2001's Halo. Combat evolved and continued in 2004's Halo 2. The game was released on September 25, 2007, in Australia, Brazil, India, New Zealand, North America, and Singapore, September 26, 2007, in Europe, and September 27, 2007, in Japan. Halo 3's story centers on the interstellar war between 26th century humanity and a collection of alien races known as the Covenant. The player assumes the role of the Master Chief, a cybernetically enhanced super soldier, as he battles the Covenant. The game features vehicles, weapons, and gameplay elements not present in previous titles of the series as well as the addition of saved gameplay films, file sharing, and the Forge Map Editor, a utility which allows the player to perform modifications to multiplayer levels. Bungie began developing Halo 3 shortly after Halo 2 shipped. The game was officially announced at E3 2006, and its release was preceded by a multiplayer beta open to select players who purchased the Xbox 360 game Crackdown. Microsoft spent $40 million on marketing the game. In an effort to sell more game consoles and broaden the appeal of the game beyond the established Halo fan base, marketing included cross-promotions and an alternate reality game. On the day before its official release, 4.2 million units of Halo 3 were in retail outlets. Halo 3 grossed $300 million in its first week. More than 1 million people played Halo 3 on Xbox Live in the first 20 hours. To date, Halo 3 has sold in excess of 14.5 million copies, making it the fifth best-selling Xbox 360 game of all time, the second best-selling game in the Halo franchise, the best-selling Xbox 360 exclusive title and the best-selling first-person shooter on the console outside of the Call of Duty games. The game was also the best-selling video game of 2007 in the U.S. Overall, the game was very well received by critics, with the Forge and multiplayer offerings singled out his strong features. However, some reviewers criticized single-player aspects, especially the plot and campaign layout. A prequel to the game, Halo 3, ODST, was released worldwide on September 22, 2009. A sequel, Halo 4, released on November 6, 2012, was developed by 343 Industries and grossed $220 million on its launch day. Halo 3 was re-released as part of Halo, the Master Chief Collection for the Xbox One on November 11, 2014. Gameplay Halo 3 is a shooter game where players primarily experience gameplay from a first-person perspective. Much of the gameplay takes place on foot, but also includes segments focused on vehicular combat. The balance of weapons and objects in the game was adjusted to better adhere to the golden triangle of Halo. These are weapons, grenades, and melee attacks, which are available to a player in most situations. Players may dual-wield some weapons, foregoing the use of grenades and melee attacks in favor of the combined firepower of two weapons. Many weapons available in previous installments of the series return with minor cosmetic and power alterations. Unlike previous installments, the player's secondary weapon is visible on their player model, holstered or slung across the player's back. Halo 3 introduces support weapons, which are cumbersome two-handed weapons that slow the player, but offer greatly increased firepower in return. In addition to weapons, the game contains a new class of gear called equipment. These items have various effects, ranging from defensive screens to shield regeneration and flares. Only one piece of equipment can be carried at a time. The game's vehicular component has been expanded with new drivable and AI-only vehicles.
Halo 3 contains non-gameplay additions, such as Forge, a map editing tool. Forge enables players to insert and remove game objects, such as weapons, crates and vehicles into existing multiplayer maps. Almost all weapons, vehicles, and interactive objects can be placed and moved on maps with Forge. Players can enter Forge games and edit and manipulate objects in real time. A budget limits the amount of objects that can be placed. Players may also save up to 100 films of gameplay to their Xbox 360's hard drive, viewing the action from any angle and at different speeds. Halo 3 offers a form of file sharing, where items such as saved films, screenshots, and custom variants can all be uploaded to Bungie's official website, Bungie.net. Anyone can browse user-created content that has been uploaded to Bungie's website and tag it to automatically download to their console next time they sign into Xbox Live on Halo 3. Modes Halo 3, S Story or Campaign Mode can be played through alone or cooperatively with up to three other players via Xbox Live or System Link. Instead of having each player be an identical character as in previous Halo games, the first player plays as Master Chief, and the second player plays as the Arbiter. The other two players control two Covenant Elites, NTHOSRAOM and USZD Taham, each with their own backstories. No matter which character is played, each player has identical abilities, though their starting weapons vary. Hidden skulls found on each level cause changes to the gameplay when enabled, such as giving the enemies extra health, changing in-game dialogue, or modifying AI behavior. These skulls, as well as the difficulty level and the speed at which the level is completed, provide multipliers to the total score. Players are awarded gamer score points for unlocking achievements by reaching a certain score in each level. Local Area Network or Xbox Live supports up to 16 players in multiplayer matches, with game modes including variations of deathmatch and capture the flag. Players must actively seek out other players through their Xbox Live friends list, using the party invite system, or the land search feature to play multiplayer matches with their own custom rules and customized maps. If they're connected to Xbox Live however, a player can choose to have the game decide for them the exact rules and map to play on, as well as finding additional people to play against or with using the matchmaking system. A player will decide from a selection of developer-designed playlists, which each contain a certain way to experience the game. Like other multiplayer Xbox 360 titles, Halo 3 uses a customized version of True Skull Ranking System for its matchmaking on a per playlist basis. A linear measure of a player's experience with the match made portion of the game on each particular playlist is also tracked. To help players have an enjoyable time online, several peace of mind features are implemented within easy reach such as avoid feedback options on a player's service record, as well as voice chat mute straight from the in-game scoreboard. Like Halo 2, Halo 3 supports downloadable content and updates. Synopsis Setting and characters Halo 3 is set in a science fiction setting during the years 2552 and 2553. In the year 2525, a Thakratic alliance of alien races known as the Covenant discover humanity spread across dozens of interstellar colonies. The Covenant declare humanity an affront to their gods and begin destroying colonies by bombarding the planets with barrages of plasma, turning their surfaces into glass. Despite efforts to keep the Covenant from finding further human worlds, a Covenant fleet discovers Earth during Halo 2. Halos are massive ring worlds, ranging from thousands to tens of thousands of kilometers in diameter, scattered across the galaxy. These rings were constructed thousands of years ago by a race known as the Forerunners as weapons of last resort against the parasitic alien species, known as the Flood. When activated, the Halos would destroy all sentient life in the galaxy, depriving the Flood of its food. 
The forerunners disappeared after they activated the rings. In Halo, combat evolved. Whilst fleeing the Covenant, the UNSC ship Pillar of Autumn stumbled upon one of these ring worlds, Installation 04. The humans managed to destroy the ring, stopping the flood. The Covenant, unaware of the destructive nature of the rings, attempt to fire another ring, Installation 05, during Halo 2 in order to fulfill their religious prophecy. One race in the Covenant, the Elites, learn the truth about the rings, and join forces with humanity in order to stop the firing of the ring. Though they are successful, the unexpected shutdown of the installation triggers a fail-safe protocol, priming all the rings for firing from one location, referred to as the Ark. Still oblivious to the true nature of the rings, the Covenant High Prophet of Truth and the remaining Loyalist Covenant proceed to head to Earth, where they believe the Ark is buried. Halo 3's protagonist is Master Chief Petty Officer John 117, a surgically enhanced super soldier known as a Spartan. The Chief fights alongside the Arbiter, a disgraced Covenant Elite Commander. Two other elite characters, NTHOSRAOM and USZD Tahum, appear as the third and fourth players in cooperative play. Supporting characters from previous games return, including human soldiers Avery Johnson and Miranda Keys. The forerunner artificial intelligence 343 Guilty Spark, who tries and fails to stop the Master Chief from destroying its ring world in Halo. Combat Evolved also makes an appearance. Also playing a role in the story is the Flood entity known as the Grave Mind. In Halo 2, this leader of the Flood escapes from confinement on Installation 05, invades the Covenant mobile capital city of High Charity, and captures Cortana, a human-created artificial intelligence. Plot after the events of the comic tie in Halo Uprising, the Master Chief crashes in Eastern Africa, where he is found by Johnson and the Arbiter. The Chief, Johnson, and company fight Covenant in the jungle and arrive at a UNSC outpost. Here, Keys and Lord Hood plan a final effort to stop the Covenant leader, the High Prophet of Truth from activating a forerunner artifact uncovered outside the ruins of the city of New Mombasa. The chief clears anti-air covenant defenses so Hood can lead the last of Earth's ships against the Prophet, but Truth activates the buried artifact, creating a slipspace portal which he and his followers enter. A flood-infested ship crash lands nearby. Elite forces arrive and vitrify flood-infected areas of Earth, stopping the threat. Following a message Cortana left aboard the flood ship, the Chief, Arbiter, Elites, Johnson, Keys and the troops follow Truth through the portal. Joining them is 343 Guilty Spark, who aids the Chief as he has no function to fulfill after the destruction of his ring world. Traveling through the portal, the humans and Elites discover an immense artificial structure known as the Ark, far beyond the edges of the Milky Way galaxy. Here, Truth can remotely activate all the halos. The Flood arrive aboard High Charity in full force, beginning to infest the installation. Truth captures Johnson, as he needs a human to use Forerunner technology. Keys is killed attempting a rescue, and Johnson is forced to activate the rings. Grave Mind forges a truce with the Chief and Arbiter to stop Truth. The Arbiter, Master Chief, and Flood forces arrive and overwhelm Truth's guards, rescuing Johnson and halting the installation's activation. After the Arbiter kills Truth, Grave Mind turns on the Chief and Arbiter. The Chief, Arbiter and Guilty Spark discover that the Ark is constructing another Halo to replace the one that the Chief previously destroyed. The Chief decides to activate this Halo. The Ringworld would eliminate the Flood infestation on the Ark while sparing the galaxy at large from destruction. To activate the ring, the chief rescues Cortana, who has the activation index of the destroyed Halo, from high charity and destroys the city. Arriving on the new Halo, Cortana warns that Grave Mind is trying to rebuild itself on the ring. 
the chief, Arbiter, and Johnson travel to Halo's control room to activate the ring. Guilty Spark explains that, because the ring is not yet complete, a premature activation will destroy it and the Ark. When Johnson ignores his warning, Guilty Spark fatally wounds him to protect his ring. The Chief destroys Guilty Spark, activates the ring, and escapes the ring's self-destruction on the UNSC frigate forward unto dawn. However, the force of Halo's blast causes the slip space portal to collapse, resulting in only the front half of forward unto dawn, carrying the Arbiter, making it back to Earth. A memorial service is held on Earth for the fallen heroes of the Human Covenant War, during which the Arbiter and Lord Hood briefly exchange words regarding the fallen Master Chief. After the memorial service, the Arbiter and his elite brethren depart for their home planet, Sang Helios. Meanwhile, the rear half of the forward unto dawn drifts in unknown space. Cortana drops a distress beacon, but acknowledges it may be many years before they are rescued. The chief enters cryonic sleep, telling Cortana to, wake me, when you need me, if the game is completed at the legendary difficulty level. The scene continues to show the piece of forward unto dawn drifting towards an unknown planet, revealed in the sequel to be known as, Requiem, the primary setting of the campaign of Halo 4. Development Halo 3 was initially conceived before Halo 2 was released in 2004. Much of the staff were preoccupied in making extra content for Halo 2, while others continued with the groundwork for the development of Halo 3. Bungie remained quiet as to what their new project was, leaving comments in their weekly update alluding to a new project. The game was officially announced with a real-time cinematic trailer at E3 2006. Bungie kept the public informed on game development via weekly updates on their website. During development, the game was divided into single-player and multiplayer builds. This made debugging and testing the much smaller multiplayer files quicker, while details of Halo 3's multiplayer were widely disseminated in the 16 months leading up to the release. The single-player aspect of the storyline was kept relatively secret throughout much of the development to build up interest. The first campaign screenshots did not appear until a year after the announcement trailer, on July 5, 2007. As of tease, for the planned pace of marketing, a public beta test of the game's online multiplayer features, as well as saved films and file share, took place four months before the full release. Players required a crackdown disc to play the beta. AI behavior was enhanced and improved. The behavior of enemy brutes the player faces was modified, giving them a pack mentality that causes the aliens to perform similar actions at the same time and altering gameplay. Graphics Halo 3 utilizes a proprietary, in-house graphics engine. As detailed on the Bungie website, it employs advanced graphics technologies such as high dynamic range, global lighting and depth of field effects within cutscenes. Motion blurring was absent from the beta, but was added to the final game. Most of the dynamic objects in the game cast real-time shadows on themselves and the environment around them, including the game's plant life. Halo 3 uses normal, bump, and parallax mapping to give surfaces more detail without dramatically increasing the number of polygons. Players can see distances of up to 10 miles away, all fully three-dimensional. Real-time reflections were written into the engine, however, they are often unused as Bungie considered it a waste of resources. Halo 3 does not natively render at true HD resolution. In a Bungie weekly update, it was confirmed that the game renders at 1152 times 640 resolution instead of the usual 1280 times 720 resolution that most Xbox 360 games use. This is because Halo 3 uses two frame buffers instead of the usual one, so the lower resolution allowed Bungie to preserve as much of the dynamic range as possible for the game's lighting without adversely affecting the frame rate. The image can be upscaled to 1080p by the Xbox 360. 
audio as with all titles on the Xbox 360. Halo 3 fully supports 5.1 surround sound audio. In the game, there are over 50,000 pieces of audio, with nearly 40,000 of those being NPC dialogue. This is far more than in either of the preceding Halo titles. Halo 2 had over 15,000 pieces of dialogue. The AI controlling this dialogue is designed to ensure the exchanges flow naturally and convincingly. Separate recordings were made for nearby and distant gunfire to make for a more believable sound experience in the public beta, and the finished game uses Waves audio plugins to modify dialogue and other audio in-game depending on conditions. Distant gunfire sounds, which may first seem like pre-recorded ambient sound, may often be the result of an actual firefight happening elsewhere in the game. Marty O'Donnell again composed the original score for the game. Some pieces of the game's music are produced with a much larger real orchestra than any pieces in the prior two games. For example, the music for the announcement trailer was recorded with a 60-piece orchestra and a 24-piece choir. Halo 3 is the first game in the series to feature custom soundtracks, allowing players to replace in-game music with their own choices. The Halo 3 original soundtrack was released on November 20, 2007. Included on the soundtrack is an original composition submitted by fans and judged by Niall Rogers, Michael Osteen, and Marty O'Donnell. Voice cast voice actors returning to reprise their roles in Halo 3 include Jen Taylor as Cortana, David Scully as Sergeant Johnson and the Elites. Keith David as the Arbiter, Tim Dardabo as 343 Guilty Spark, Ron Perlman as Lord Hood, Robert Davy as RTAs, Vadim, and Steve Downs as the voice of Master Chief. The game also features new voices, with Terence Stamp and Justice Balding replacing Halo 2 voice actors Michael Wincott and Julie Benz as the Prophet of Truth and Miranda Keys, respectively. Additional voices include celebrity presenter Jonathan Ross, Nathan Fillion, Adam Baldwin, Alan Tuddy, Katie Sackhoff, and John DiMaggio. Members of the Halo Machinima Red vs. Blue have a cameo role. Leaks months before the release of Halo 3, the game's final testing copy before its gold release, codenamed Epsilon and confirmed by Bungie to be almost complete, was leaked to the internet. Microsoft reacted to this leak by having the Xbox Live accounts of gamers caught playing the Epsilon copy banned until the year 9999, two weeks before Halo 3 was due to be released. Full retail copies of the game complete with photographs of the open game box started to appear on the internet auction site eBay. A week before Halo 3 was due for release, major UK catalogue retailer Argos accidentally released some of their final retail copies of Halo 3. Microsoft's Entertainment and Devices division were quoted as being disappointed that it happened, but that it was just an honest mistake, and that Microsoft had no intention of punishing Argos for the error. Halo 3's final retail copy was leaked online over a week before its official release. The 6.14 GB file of the game was ripped and downloaded by thousands of people within 24 hours of the leak. Videos of the ending of Halo 3, obtained from the leaked copy, were captured and posted on video sharing sites.